Hi, I'm pioneer field agronomist Ryan Bates. And today I want to take a little bit of time to talk about delay planting and decisions and, and things to consider as you, you potentially look at uh, switching to earlier hybrids. So here we're looking at uh, making switches. Uh, data from the University uh, in Minnesota and Wisconsin looking at the profitability of that full season hybrid versus the early maturity and that adjusted gross income looking at the yield as well as potential drying costs associated with it. So here we go from uh, the full season in red at 98 day to 105 fiscal maturity versus the green 87 to 91 day. And we see those two lines cross around May 27th. So this is a date where uh, we should consider switching hybrids. Uh, let's say we got our full season planted uh, for this area. We're actually got just onto our mid maturity. Do I drop some of that as we get Memorial weekend um, around that 27th uh, to early maturity? As we look at that, uh, it, you know, that mid maturity 92 to 97 day versus that maybe a little bit earlier day, that 87 to 91 day. And we push out uh, later into June or into June uh, before that actually lines up. So no use making that switch as well until we get later in the year. So good university data to go off from in making that switch. Here we look at some data earlier yet that some early maturities, Minnesota, North Dakota, and Quebec, looking at the same type of information here, the full seasons at 97 to 100 day, uh, with, with the earlier season being that 80 to 88 day. And we're seeing that same type of information there with that switch date of May 26. So Memorial Weekend this year is that time frame that we can make that switch. And still um, up until that point, we're still better off profitability on that on your operation, sticking with that full season hybrid that you've already put in place. We also want to take consideration, you know, our, our, the, the individual products and look at the particular products. The GDU's physical maturity is a big one I look at. That's going to be when that crop reaches black layer. At Black Lear, we have accumulated all that yield, um, re reaching or having the frost prior to that bl Black Lear, we're gonna end up with a hit to the test weight, some layer test weight corn. So we really wanna reach physical maturity. We still got dry and take consideration, but the first goal is to reach physical maturity in these cases. So use this chart uh, as you look at these individual hybrids here. Here at uh, 9608, uh, this has listed as a 96 day physical maturity, 95 day silk. And what I'd say here, it's a 96 day physical maturity. We do list the GDU's physical maturity. So a 2300 um, GDU's physical maturity is a 96 day physical maturity. Each um, 25 GDU is equivalent to one day of uh, physical maturity CRM. So if you jump up to uh, 100 GDU's, so up to 2400 GDU's uh, here in 9840, this is actually 100. Um, day fizzle out maturity product. So what's a 98 day list is 98 day. It actually takes um, more hybrid, more GDUs than the the square 98 98 day product. Uh, we also can look at maybe a bit uh, fuller season. Let's compare 057 to 9998. 057s at 2450, uh, 101 day. So this is going to be at about 102 day fizzle out maturity. You may be comparing, maybe I want to move up a little bit. 9998 is at 2350, so 100 uh, GDUs earlier. This puts us at 98 day physical maturity, just dries down a little bit slower. So compare 9998 versus uh, you know, your that 96 weight we just talked about, that's only 50 GDUs different. Uh, so really want to use these guides to make that decision. We also want to look at our yield data from last year as we look across the region on um, what is the moisture difference that we're seeing more locally between these products and, and within the family, maybe the, the platform um, or, or the, the product um, trait that may, shows us our differences. So we can see some differences within hybrids. So here, let's say we're gonna compare 9608 versus 9188. Um, across the area, we saw uh, moisture about half a point wetter with the 9608 but did have a five bushel advantage across the region. So on average, our adjusted gross income, we had a $10 advantage on the 9608 versus the 9188 uh, uh, family here. So that uh, still favors planting that 9608 later in the season. Um, we can look at our corn performance summaries as well. Uh, look at that same example. Uh, how about we do 9188 AM versus 8700? 
four days of maturity difference and just looking at the pure numbers. But if we look at the yield advantage and moisture difference, two tenths of a point of moisture, we're still strongly favored towards that uh, 9188 in terms of, of, of planting that and being the most profit per that acre. So some great resources to, to use um, to your advantage to try to figure out the best uh, business sense uh, that you can put in place in making that hybrid switch when um, and what products is best, best for you to do. So uh, use this information and good luck. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Pioneer for more agronomy insights.